Rob Banks and you watching Hot New Hip Hop. I was born in Brooklyn, in like Canarsie, I think. Yeah, I think. And uh, I don't know. I don't remember much about New York, to be honest. Like, I don't. Um, I came. To, I came to Broad when I was like six. So I don't remember nothing, to be honest. Everything I learned was from Broward. My first move, we first moved to Sistrunk in like uh, Fort Lauderdale, and then we ended up going to Coral Springs after that. And then from Coral Springs, I bounced around like everywhere, from like North Lauderdale to Margate and shit like that. It was it was crazy coming from New York. Like it was like, it was night and day. You know what I mean? I wish I, wish I stayed in school, cause I don't know. That's cap. I ain't gonna lie. I don't wish I stayed in school. It's cap. But yeah, I wish I would. I wish I wouldn't have dropped out in twelfth grade though. I wish I would have dropped out like somewhere that made most most sense. But twelfth grade made most, most the most sense back then, cause yeah, cause I was I had got kicked out of school and went to alternative school and then um, the alternative school in Florida was like jail, my nigga. That shit was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. Dave Thomas, shout out Dave Thomas, man. Yeah, it was a horrible school. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it was. It was. It just it was trash. And then um. But at the time, that's when I had put out calendars, and uh, I was getting paid like five hundred dollars a show. So I was like, "Bitch, I am never coming back here again." And I never went back there. Yeah, I had bought a car. I was like, "Man, fuck this shit. I'm never coming back." It was hard to be honest, cause people just be almost want to make you feel like you gotta grow up. You know what I'm saying? Like real fast. Like, I was like 17 when I did all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I had to grow up way faster than I feel like I was supposed to. I didn't get and everything that. You're supposed to get over time. I got quicker than a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Quick as hell. So I'm almost like um, Forrest Wright. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it wasn't it wasn't easy. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it could have been worse. Uh, I grew up on like underground rap, like Atmosphere and Brother Ali and all that shit, like real lyrical, lyrical rap. You know? But that was really mainly because um, I don't know, like who the people I was hanging around then, like they just. I ain't, it wasn't cool for me like to listen to radio or shit like that. But then when I started, when I got to, that was like middle school, I was listening to that. When I when went to high school and shit, that's when I started listening to like Webby and Boosie. And Webby, Webby really became my favorite, favorite rapper then. And as I got older, you know what I'm saying, I got, got into like Sade and things like that, like R&B. But now I only listen to R&B. Like that's all I can, yeah, yeah, I don't listen to no rap. I mean, who said bars not important though? I think bars are still important. I like bars too, but you know what I'm saying. Me, it's not about like the shift in music. I like somebody asked me the other day, I like where music at now, and I'm not just saying that. You know what I'm saying? I really do like where it's at because I like everything. Like I like all like the I like non-lyrical rap and I like lyrical rap. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I could do both, and that t- listening to both of that shit helped me like realize you could do both. You know what I'm saying? Like every, my my like my music depend on how I'm feeling at that time in my life. Like maybe I don't want to do no punchlines or spend two hours on a on a verse thinking of the best punchlines, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a time and a place for everything and right now may, may not be the time that everything is getting fucking that type of getting that type of appreciation or att- or attention, you know what I'm saying? Like bars may not get that at this time. My favorite ever is uh Berserk. Hands down. Berserk to me it's a, is my favorite, but the best is Naruto to me. Like I feel like the, the best storyline Naruto, hands down. Like it should make you cry and laugh and all that. Like Naruto so good, but Berserk my favorite, hands down. Berserk is my favorite. I don't got chains made from Berserk. Everything like Griffith, Femto. That's how I'm living. People always tell me, oh, do more anime lines. It's like, nigga, nobody knows what those are. Like, real talk. Like, it's only like a certain people that know. Like, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But 30 other motherfuckers don't know what the fuck you saying. You feel me? Like, and at the time, back then, like, like I said, I was, I, was, I ain't give a fuck. Like, so I ain't care. So I was like, and I still sort of feel like that. I don't really care. Like, it's my music. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. Nobody's going to tell me what to talk about. But I'm more conscious now of my fan base and, I don't even I don't see it as a fan base. I see it like real deal, like a real cult, like real talk. Like I really mean that, like for real. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I just realized with me, like I think everything I do is trash. 
or shit. I think my fit trash. I ain't gonna lie. I think everything be trash that I do. So I don't know. I be feeling like now, like, I be like, well, someone's gonna like it. You know what I mean? And I, I listen back to the city, like, encounters and things like that, and it's not trash. I just, but I can't, I can't listen to it. Like, I cannot hear myself at 16 running around with all them uh, <laughs> just tripping. Like, I can't do that. And talking about what I was talking about, I can't listen to that shit. You know what I'm saying? It just brings back too many memories. I've read too much memories. And, like, I put, out a, I put out some shit the other day, and I can't listen to it. I'll be like, it's trash. Yeah, like, I just, I just can't. I don't like, I don't like when, the, when the music come out and it's like, oh, I just want to do something new after that. I feel like I'm one of the only ones, like, from the jump that really want, wanted to see the shit, see Florida breathe by itself, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wanted to cap, talk shit. Yeah, we want Florida, we doing this for Florida, we putting it together for Florida. That shit with cap, you know what I'm saying? Niggas wanted to put it together for theyself, for real. That's all they wanted to do. Me, I really wanted, I really wanted to see Florida breathe and live, like, and... I feel like that solidified my spot, you know what I'm saying? Because I helped a lot of new, a lot of new artists, and they helped me too. What about like you and Puya? And I bring this up because of Half Bay, the way you guys go back and forth the whole way through. Yeah. What's it like? How, what's your relationship like with Puya? How far do you go back? Like that motherfucker didn't even want to do that shit like that. He was in the fucking booth, like, like I don't know what to say, man. I don't know, cause my shit was recorded already. And he was like, oh, I don't know what to do, like. So I had to go in the booth with him, like, yeah, like this, yeah, like, gone, yeah, yeah. And, but that's my nigga, though, like, we ain't, we ain't, Puya, somebody, like, he was original SS, like, he was original Smart Stunners, and I don't know, like, back then, like, um, people always tell me, like, um, that all them people, like, I should have signed them, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't know. Like, I be looking at it as more of, like, a friendship, like, I really do, like, like, everyone that I work with like that. From the pool used to everybody like we friends, you know what I'm saying? We friends first. You know what I mean? And seeing Puya grow, like I knew he had that shit in him, you know what I'm saying? He knew he had that shit in him. So it don't surprise me, you know what I'm saying, where he's got and me and him still good is that we spoke the other day. We just just cause people don't see us together and shit like that, like don't mean that. I'm a Mikey I think Mikey tweeted that shit the other day, like, Puya and Rob aren't friends anymore. So I was like, That's not true. Like, we just don't speak like that. We definitely still friends, though. That's my nigga. We good, man. I spoke to him the other day too. He. I know there seems to be like a slight confusion because like y'all make music. Yeah. But then at the same time, there's that video like way fucking back where he's just like flipping the shit outside. And I like I read the comments. Yeah, but if you really look at the video, like I hate that video. Everybody, if you really look at that video, like like he not yelling at me. Like he really just upset. Like he really just mad because he had got jumped. Yeah. And we helped him when he got jumped. And we had to, it was in our studio, so we had to get him out of the studio. Police around there, fucking niggas in there was like, who this little nigga yelling? We about to take his ass off. I'm like, man, chill out. I'm like, I, I'm, I ain't even know him at the time. I'm like, man, just chill, bro. I'm like trying to calm him down. But we, that's my boy. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy. That's my brother. We good, man. But, yeah. It's great. That's the that's, that's unk. That's unk, that's, that's that's bird. And you gotta remember like in this and like this shit, like this lane, like ain't I ain't have no OGs at all. Like I don't got no OGs, period. Like so that's like a OG, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like you don't you don't really have them, especially like you said, you named all the rappers like from Florida and shit. I ain't got no OG, you know what I mean? Like ain't nobody look over me and be like, Hey bro, I got you, I'm gonna take I'm gonna hold you down. Like that's somebody. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like the misfits, almost like it's like niggas that don't fit in type shit. Yeah. So Bird, somebody. So when he opened and then and, and looked in the shit, it was like that shit felt good for real. Cause like then you like somebody finally took notice. You know what I'm saying? To from from that world, it's finally taking notice. You know what I'm saying? So. That shit cool, man. We mainstream now. Fuck the underground. I ain't on none of that. Niggas is still. I'm underground in my soul, my nigga, my heart. I'm, I'm all. I'm. I am underground. You know what I'm saying? So I can go mainstream. You feel me? I made. Niggas made the underground. So I ain't gotta. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be one of them fake ass niggas. Like, yeah, bro, underground forever. The fuck you lying, that nigga. Nobody wants to be underground forever, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants that music heard. Independent is different from underground. Get that shit straight. Falcone. 
retired. Yeah. yeah for you, so. Retired. I'm retired in five years, my nigga. I like 25. I got like two more years. And I'm done. What are you doing? To my house. Retired? Shit, I'm finna be like Bird. I'm finna go on stage and just have my artist and throw my shit up on stage. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got to do nothing. Like, you know what I mean? That's what I want to be. Or open anime store. Yeah. Yeah, that shit hard. Like that's something I really wanna do. I, I be in that motherfucker selling shit. Like, oh, you want this? You want a new book? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I do that for real, for real. <laughs>